Hello, my name is Steve Olson. I'm the manager of training services for Mesa. I want to take a look at in this video the setup of Inventor Projects. The thing that I've noticed recently or actually over time is that there seems to be a lack of understanding over exactly a proper project setup and all the things that go along with that. So I want to take a, a look at that in this video. So you can see here in Inventor I have my projects dialog set up. I have a bunch of different projects because I teach a bunch of different classes and some different things. I keep it separately, keep it separate. My advice to most companies is try to have one project that runs everything. That way your users are not having to jump between projects frequently because you cannot change your project file while you have Inventor files open. So if you were in a situation where your company had multiple project files, you'd have to completely shut everything you had down in your session of Inventor just to switch projects and open up another project. The project is designed to help you keep yourself organized is really the main part of what the project file does. It has locations mapped to it um, that know where your templates are, where certain style information is, where all your design data is, and then your libraries and content center pieces. So I think probably the best way to kind of understand a project would be to kind of go through a setup of one and this setup that I'm going to use here feel free to mimic um, in your company there it's a very generic setup and I'll kind of talk about some key things as I go um, so let's take a look at that so I'm just gonna say done to this dialog box here I'm actually gonna just kind of minimize my inventor here. and now I've opened up another window here that's just basically a uh, a normal uh, browsing window, just a Windows Explorer. I have an engineering data folder set up. Right now it's on my secondary drive of my machine. Realistically what I would recommend to users is that you put this like on a network drive so people are able to share their data. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to start generating a structure inside this engineering data folder. The first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to create a new folder that I call inventor support. And we'll go into that folder in a second here, uh, but also I would create a library folder. And then also create what I refer to as the workspace. So there are some substructures I want to create or some subfolders inside the inventor support folder, so let me do that real quick. So I'm going to go into my inventor support folder. I'm going to create three folders inside of here. One called design data. And what the design data is going to hold is basically all my style information. There's going to be XML files that go into this that deal with my dimension styles, balloon styles, um, any kind of objects on my drawings, but also materials there will be some specialized spreadsheets that go on here that deal with threads for holes um, and just other information along those lines so it's it's basically style information another folder that I want is a template folder uh, what makes something a template in Inventor is not its its extension like in AutoCAD where you have a DWT file being your templates what makes something a template file in Inventor is the fact that it sits inside the template directory for your project. And then one last one here that I'm going to to set up is called Content Center Files. So what Content Center Files contains is the Content Center that comes with, in, with Inventor is really a database that knows how to make parts. It's basically a collection of I parts if you're familiar with those. So when I go to make a, a or to use a bolt in, a, in an assembly, it actually has to make that IPT of that bolt and save it somewhere. When I go to use that bolt or make that bolt, it's going to ask me if I want it to be a custom component or a standard component. 
if I tell it it's going to be standard, it's going to save it in this location here. A very common mistake that users make when setting up their projects is that they just let this content center files location be default, which ends up being a location on their C drive. So as they build assemblies and so on and so forth that use content center components, if one of their coworkers tries to open that assembly up, it's missing all the hardware. The only caveat to that would be if that coworker had already made that bolt, that nut, whatever the exam, whatever that hardware is, that he may already have it on his C drive. So it's kind of one of those things that this is probably one of the more important aspects of the project file. So real quickly here, I've got that, that set up, uh, set up right. My library folder, is just going to be a location where I have my library data go any parts that I make that are going to be standard that I don't want to change anything that goes into this library is going to be read only so the structure here can be whatever I want it to be um, different customers have different ways they want to structure their library I'm not going to make a, a substructure here it's just the way it's going to work um, at this point uh, under workspace again it's going to be organized how I see fit in terms of you know how I want to organize my folders this workspace is where I'm going to put most of my design data to so now I got this structure set up let me go back over to inventor and start building uh, a project that maps and uses these locations so now I'm back over to inventor I'm going to go to my projects dialog box. I'm going to say new at the bottom here. It's going to ask me if I want to make a new single user project or a vault project. And this kind of hangs people up sometimes saying, was this uh, you know, a vault project, single user? Uh, the bottom line is, as long as it's not a vault project, it's a single user project. Vault has uh, some special mapping that will then be uh, have to be added to the project if it's a vault project. I'm just going to make a single user project, say next, I'm going to give it a project name, call mine screencast, and then it wants to know where to go or where to save it. The, the project itself can pretty much go anywhere I want it to be as long as I map the project to it. So typically what I'll do is I'll just try to save it with everything uh, else that I'm working with. So I have this engineering data folder. I'd probably just save it right here for now. If I wanted to, I could also dump it in my workspace. That's a very common thing to do. I'm going to say next. If I had any projects, I'm sorry, any libraries that were set up for other projects, I could include their mappings into this project. I don't want to do that. I'm just going to say finish. So basically, the, in this dialog box, the top half of this box is all the projects that my machine is aware of. And you can see there's a, quite a list of them there. Uh, the bottom box, the bottom half of this box, is all the settings to the selected project. So right now, screencast is the one I have set. Uh, the check mark means it's the one that's active. So now let me kind of just do some mapping here. So under my workspace here, I'm going to expand it out, tell it to edit its mapping, and I want to put it into the workspace under engineering data. So I'm going to find where my engineering data is. There's that workspace folder. I'm going to map it there. For libraries, the mapping of this is a little bit different. I have to right click on this and tell it to add a path. It wants me to name the library. And then I can tell where the library is going to be. And you can see here it's already kind of found that uh, D engineering data library folder. So it's already kind of found that. So I'm going to be OK with that. And then the other thing I need to do is the folder options. If you kind of look at what I have here, I have the where it says design data, templates, content center files. Those are the same folders that I set up in my uh, Inventor support folder. So I just need to map to these. So let me go to edit here. I'm going to start mapping these locations out. So I'm going to go to D engineering data inventor support and this was my design data folder I'm going to say OK I'm going to click out here in this white space to accept this now one thing that you'll notice here is it's going to say hey there's supposed to be a certain 
set of information in that folder and right now there doesn't contain all the information I need is it okay if I just def copy the default information over and that is okay so I'm just gonna say okay I'm gonna do the same thing for templates and content center files now one thing about this is that you'll find that once I finish the setup here or the mapping for the content center files Uh, for the templates and the content center files, there isn't a default set of information that needs to be copied. So I'll just uh, end up copying or, or mapping to those, and there won't be any messages about copying anything specific for me, which is fine. So I've got that mapped. Um, so now one other thing I want to do here is I'm going to go ahead and save this. It's going to want to give me a little warning message about saving. But if I go to my new here, you'll notice that my templates is empty. And that's because whenever I uh, set up that location, it didn't put any templates in it. So I need to copy those over. And just so you guys can see this, um, I'm going to open up uh, another Windows Explorer. The location, the default location for these templates is going to be under C users under public public documents Autodesk and then the version of Inventor that you're using in this case Inventor 2016 there's my templates folder I can just basically use Windows to copy this to my D engineering data Inventor support templates paste that so now when I go so now when I go to go to new you'll see here now I have templates now one other thing that I really just want to talk about and impress upon you with the project is one of the things that the project does is that whenever I go to open an assembly or open a drawing it needs to find the parts that are referenced by those components or those 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 models so what what has to happen is inventor has to find all those pieces and and how it kind of uses that is it uses the project to find those pieces so it looks in basically the libraries that I've mapped it looks in the content center files that I've mapped it looks in my workspace so if it doesn't find it in those locations we're gonna get a dialog box saying hey I can't find this file you need to find it for me I want to thank you for watching this video. If you have any questions or comments about project files or anything related to Inventor, please feel, reach, please feel free to reach out to me and I will do what I can to get you an answer. Thank you very much and have a good day.